Hello everyone, Brett here, and today I'm going to show you how to create a Facebook app for your List Magnet WordPress plugin. If you want to use the Sign Up with Facebook option, you are going to have to create a Facebook app for your website. Fortunately, it is not as difficult as a lot of people seem to think it is. So to get started, I'm going to go to developers.facebook.com. and this will bring me to the Facebook developers section now I'm gonna to go to apps and I'm gonna click on create new app it's gonna ask me for a couple of things like the display name the namespace and the category in this particular instance the only thing that is really important is the display name uh, you want to use a name that's going to have some type of relevance because when people click your sign up with Facebook button it's going to show them this name as the app that they're signing up via so normally I like to either use my particular website name for the pop-up that I actually have on my personal blog I have Brett Ritecki as the display name sometimes you can use something like sign up or login or opt-in anything that has some type of relevance that the user is going to be able to see so for this example we'll just call it Brett's sign up the namespace is not important at all in this particular instance you can completely leave that blank and the category you want to pick apps for pages you go ahead and click the create app button solve the security captcha and click the submit button to continue all right so now we have our new app created and we have a couple of settings that we need to adjust so what we're going to do is go over here to the settings section and click it and it's going to ask us first for our app domain now you want to type in the url of the wordpress site that you are using the list magnet pop-up script on so I'm going to type in my own URL after that you're going to click the add platform button and select website once again type in the URL of your website and two things are important when you're typing in the URL of your website first make sure you include the HTTP www semicolon four slash four slash that is a full URL if I were to just type in brettretecki.com right now that would be a domain name what you need here is a full URL the second thing that's important to remember in this when you're setting this up is here you want to include the final forward slash so you type it in like that so it's http semicolon slash slash www.brettretecki.com slash if you have a separate url for your mobile version of your site you can type that in right here the vast majority of people will not have to do that because their mobile url will be the same as their normal website when you're done doing that simply click on save changes After your app is all set up, you want to go over here and click on status and review. You're going to see in the upper right hand corner here that your review, your app is not live at this point, which means nobody will be able to use it but you. So you want to go ahead and click over here and make it live. You can see that your app is now live and available for everybody to use click the confirm button the very last step is to go over to the dashboard section click on show and you can get your app ID and your app secret and these are the settings that you'll put into your list magnet settings area so that's all there is to it it only takes a few minutes and it really isn't that hard if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Thank you.